Hello everyone, I'm Zawayat. Welcome to CCG 2021. The paper I'm gonna present today is titled as Site Edge Based Intelligence for Privacy Preserving Enterprise Search on the Cloud. And the authors of the paper are myself, Dr. Mohsen Amini Salihi, and Dr. Rajkumar Buya. I and Dr. Mohsen Amini Salihi are from HPCC Lab, University of Louisiana at Lafayette, USA. And Dr. Rajkumar Buya is from Clouds Lab, the University of Melbourne, Australia. So let's start. In today's world, we generate a massive amount of data in each day. Uh, this is also referred as big data. So it is uh, like an unanimous growth of data volume. However, data without such ability is worthless. So therefore, we need semantic search, and semantic search should be a real-time semantic search. Uh, so as example, uh, police officers may be a search of our criminal records on patrol to get uh, related crimes. To facilitate that, enterprise search service offers semantic search on data. So one example of enterprise search service is uh, AWS Kendra which is offered by Amazon. CWS Kendra offers a real-time semantic search uh, by leveraging natural language processing and machine learning techniques. However, based on our investigation, we have found that Kendra does not search over encrypted data and also it doesn't offer personalized search. On the other hand, we need robust enterprise search which is which should be more accurate on sema capturing semantics so to facilitate uh, contextualized context or contextful semantics and also personalized search so in terms of problem statement we found that how to develop a trustful encrypted enterprise search service then how to search semantically over encrypted data while keeping minimum over it. So our approach to solve the problem is to separate intelligence aspect of the search from its pattern matching aspect. Uh, that's why we're using edge uh, computing uh, for search intelligence. Uh, intelligence means a query expansion, uh, waiting to the query and query personalization. And we use cloud only for the dump pattern matching part. Therefore, our contribution to this research is we pro we propose the site mechanism. The site provides personalized semantic searchability on existing enterprise search services, and it is a it acts as a as a plugin of existing uh, enterprise search service. Uh, we also implement that on the site so it is public available in github and we already run it uh, uh, as a pl plugin of AWS Kendra so it works well so this site works both with encrypted and plain text data so let's talk about architecture here you see the overall architecture of site so you are you are seeing that uh, user the we have it is a three tier architecture user each tier and cloud tier. So in the each tier we do some actually we do some query processing in the each tier mainly query processing, and also we wait the query uh, for uh, for based on uh, I mean for personalizations or personalized search actually. So after taking input from the user, so we just take uh, receive the input. I mean, the site just takes input of uh, query from the user, and then this query is sent to the site for the further processing. So uh, the query handler, uh, we're seeing now query handler. It is marked, so it is an interface to input such query, and it also stores such history. And then from this query is passed to context identifier for context identification, which is 
also uh, uh, which is also called as sense detection say for example if the query is cloud computing then the word cloud they say here in the cloud word is an ambiguous word so we have to understand uh, which cloud it refers to it denotes whether it is a sky hello thing like overcast or actually it is a high performance computing so this sort of things will be processed uh, usually it's processed in the in the context identifier unit then uh, once we identify the context then actually the query is expanded in query expansion unit so what it does it do it just add all possible synonyms for each query number q with respect to the context and then interest detector unit actually calculates the next search or immediate search interest uh, based on uh, the lever leveraging users uh, prior history data so with the help of recurrent neural network model we calculate the users well, I mean we predict the users search interest next search interest and then in a weighting unit we assign weight to the expanded query so uh, the, the query uh, that is generated uh, in query expansion unit so we need to exp uh, we, we need to provide the weight to that to because of prioritizing query keywords based on their importance in the query and also such user such interest user such uh, uh, interest is for facilitating personalized search then we just send uh, the expanded query from the expansion unit to the cloud tier and the cloud tier actually exhaustive pattern matching search is performed actually we don't care actually what is done in the cloud so if it is encrypted data there will be only exhaustive pattern matching search if it is not un uh, not encrypted like in the plain text then actually it will, the search will happen according to aws kendra's policy yes uh, it searches with semantically so for plain text data at some point it is fine but for encrypted data uh, it can't uh, perform semantic search it just does the exhaustive pattern matching technique so whatever it does then actually it sends once it finish it finalizes its search then it sends uh, the search result to the ranking unit so so the ranking unit rank the retrieved result with respect to the weight I mean, uh, with respect to weighted TF-IDF, and we know about TF-IDF, which is term frequency inverse document frequency is commonly used in do, uh, document retrieval systems, different search systems. But here, the, we also added the weight, so, and the weight actually is sent from uh, user, uh, sent from uh, weighting unit here. So here, based on this weighted TF-IDF, we re-rank the result and we send back the result to the user. So this result is, again tuned so to pro provide more personalized search and also more uh, uh, contextualized se semantic search let's talk about the evaluation of search accuracy of our side uh, plus kendra system with respect to original kendra so search accuracy is measured based on t by the 10 metric so according to the figures uh, we observe that site plus Kendra offer 26 offers 26.5 percent more accuracy in BBC dataset and 12.5 percent more accuracy improvement in RFC dataset. Uh, so the reason behind that is uh, more exact query keywords are found in RFC dataset than BBC. So that is why uh, the performance of site plus Kendra uh, is identical, almost identical, uh, than. Uh, is almost identical to the original Kendra. On the other hand, in case of BBC dataset, I mean uh, the search uh, the search query uh, is not mostly found in the dataset. So that's why the search is performed on uh, semantics, mostly on semantics. So and our site shows noticeable efficiency in capturing query semantics. In case of encrypted data. Uh, uh, site plucked Kendra performs significantly better than our original Kendra system. So, as you can see from the left side, uh, the BBC dataset, 
they're actually seeing uh, in side part camera clearly outperform so the camera on the face time uh, even there uh, uh, like one two three four um, around five yeah total five uh, number of points where actually we uh, do not retrieve any files uh, by searching or through origin or only camera the original camera on the other hand actually for uh, i mean this search for for this five searches actually we get rid of we retrieve files uh, when we search through site plugged camera so uh, the reason of such performance is uh, camera results in based on exact pattern matching of encrypted query that means ex exact string by string ma matching uh, so it doesn't capture any query semantics but in case of our site actually uh, site uh, uh, performs some robust contextualized query expansion and that's why yeah still it does query expansion uh, sorry still it does uh, the string matching but it has more I mean it, it contains more string uh, which are related to uh, wh which are enough which are sufficient to capture semantics so this is the overall performance of such accuracy with respect to mean f1 score mean t server that tends to and we found that actually site plus kendra uh, uh, this uh, one surpasses all others in terms of uh, these two metrics in two data sets so now uh, in terms of uh, such time overhead if we we are seeing that actually site plus kendra causes four times more time overhead than original camera so you see in some uh, AWS camera causes the I mean the uh, with the brown ones they cause was um, the lowest time over it so this is because so what is the reason of uh, uh, more, much more overhead for site plus camera system this is because query processing time waiting time and ranking time I mean the re-ranking time so these are the overhead but still I mean, since uh, it, uh, we we found here, the, I mean, there's some good score. Uh, I mean, in terms of different metrics, that like T cyber the red ten and mean F one. So we can consider this much of overhead. So in in terms of second, it just eight second. Uh, with uh, so we can consider up to this much of uh, time overhead. So in the proposed and developed side, a context aware, personalized, and privacy preserving uh, such service module which is pluggable or work with any existing uh, such service like AWS Kendra. Side achieves privacy and intelligence at each tier. Mm, that's why uh, it becomes a lightweight solution. So uh, our future plan is to make a flexible uh, deployment architecture of side uh, considering uh, de devices like you are considering uh, your de devices that you are, uh, are used uh, on that particular time and also user state uh, like users may be on the move or users may sit at, uh, uh, at his uh, desk so based on all these uh, considerations actually uh, the deployment architecture uh, will be shrinked or expanded so that's all thank you everyone Hope you like our presentation.